Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at the Android 11 Beta 3 port for a Redmi Note 5 Pro with some device specific additional features. So without wasting more time, let's start. So guys, this is the Android 11 Beta 3. So first of all, let's go into settings as always into about phone. Android version, you can see Android version 11. Security patch is July 5, 2020. I can see the play update June 1. Then the kernel version uh, 4.4.2.6 tag. And it's a common kernel, I guess, with that tag. And you can see this is the R Beta 3 GSI mod by Speedo. Thanks to him, he has ported it and has added a nice amount of wonderful features into it. Now guys, first of all, let's take a look at the new Android 11 Beta 3 features. So first feature is let's go into settings here and into the display getting down here into a lock screen and yeah this is the show lockdown option now this is already present but if this is enabled and if you press the power button here you will see uh, the lockdown option and here is the power uh, option and this will uh, open a new you know navigational breadcrumbs menu which they call the breadcrumbs menu and you can choose now to power off or restart the device so this is a small addition uh, like a power menu tweak so yeah also, if you want to read more about it, I will leave a link down in the description and you can read all of, more about all of the features. So yeah, that is it for this one. Now let's take a look at the second addition, which is on the quick settings media. So this is how it looks uh, with the divider. Now it looks clean. And yeah, this is the important thing, the divider, which like makes it, you know, divided from the quick settings. Previously, it was just, you know, attached, it looks attached to the quick settings. And also we have this, uh, another option into media sounds, which you can you know, hide player when the media session has ended. This is also a really handy feature and it's nice, like Google is adding some new stuff to Android 11. So that is really amazing. Now the next change is the Android 11 new emojis. You can see this is how the emojis look. Now the main uh, emojis change uh, is this main emoji character. Much of the other emojis are like similar. You can see these emoji characters face hands and they have changed and they look really good now. Other, other emojis are like the normal emojis. So yeah, you can see these ones. Yeah, a lot of have been changed and some may remain but yeah you know these these are the main emojis which look really nice that's really nice by google now the last change in the beta 3 is the android 11 easter egg so for that let's go to settings here into android version and you can see this is the easter egg and this is a you know a dial which uh, it's like uh, opening a vault here uh, or you know that old telephone uh, how they were used to and yeah if you do it three times you will see that 11 uh, icon uh, in here and here the cat uh, toast notification and also uh, you know in pixel phones you will get that cat card game that cat game the cat collection game from android nougat so you will get this uh, into here the power menu cards and it's not supported in india so sorry i cannot show you that but yeah you guys know that the card game is like really fun collecting cats naming them so yeah Hope we'll get that card feature soon in India so that I can show you that one. But yeah, you can check out the videos too. They have uh, shown it there. So yep, uh, that is it for the Android 11 Beta 3 features. Now guys, as this is a wired specific GSI mod, the developer has added some wired specific features like Xiaomi parts. So let's take a look at it. And you can see we get the haptic feedback strength controller, the KCAL, uh, which is display color calibration thermal options, uh, MI direct option and flip cover wake up. So these are the options you get in Xiaomi parts and you can tune. And also these are the KKL, uh, which is color calibration and uh, Xiaomi parts trend, the haptic feedback. So uh, which are the favorite uh, of my options with this. And also if you want to tune your thermal options, you can uh, set your thermal profiles from here. One more thing is added, which is the MI UI camera pre-built. So this is really nice. But the uh, video does not work. Uh, I don't know if it's the front or rear, but the video does not work. Okay, so you can see the normal video is not working. You can use other apps like Gcam. Uh, you can try Gcam. I don't know if it actually works or not. And yeah, after it was, okay, so it works fine afterwards too. And you can see uh, selfies work. Uh, your uh, normal photos work. Portrait is also working fine. So that's a really nice option. Cannot show portrait now, right now. And let's see if the front video works. Uh, front video is working fine. So uh, I don't know what's wrong, but yeah, the rear video is not working. The developer also mentioned it in the box. So yep. Now 
let's get to the bugs here because as i said bugs like people will always ask if there are any bugs and this is android 11 beta 3 android 11 which is an un uh, unreleased android version so obviously it will come with some minor bugs by google which google will obviously fix until the stable release but yeah here we have uh, some device specific bugs which are the uh, the right now which i show you the uh, video recording with MIUI camera so you can ignore that because MIUI camera is an additional one and hotspot and for hotspot we need the R vendor so you have to wait until the sources have been released and yeah but that is it for the bugs not uh, nothing else VLT and everything is fine I guess Wi-Fi calling is also working it was working in the previous build so it should work fine so yeah pan that's it now let's move to the installation of the Android 11 Beta 3. It's easy, but still people ask, and I have to show you because this is a new Android version, and don't uh, I don't want people to panic. So yeah, let's uh, boot your device into uh, uh, what did I say uh, recovery mode, and I will just boot it into recovery mode and show you the installation. So guys, let's start with the installation, and I am on uh, the Orange Fox Custom Recovery. First of all, if you want to backup, you can go to the backup and do a backup of your ROM. Then go to wipe and uh, no, just wipe these options. Oh, now after wiping the ROM, it shows no ROM here because this is my second take. Like I wiped and the device fell, so I have to do it again. So after wiping it, go to the files and mine is in the download. You can see Android R beta. And if you want to flash Magisk, go back here. You have to flash the Magisk debug, which is the Magisk Canary version only which is supported so if you flash the magisk uh, stable 20.4 then your device will you know boot loop or something may happen but it's just boot loop not anything wouldn't happen so it's just boot loop so yeah just install these two and let's skip this installation so the rom and magisk has been installed now reboot system and let's wait for the boot animation i will skip that part too and here we go we have the boot animation now and it will like it takes maybe within a minute it will boot so yep that is it for the installation of android 11 beta 3 and with the custom mods so thanks to the developer speedo for including xiaomi parts miui camera which is almost working just the rear miui uh, video is not working so yep that is it if you guys like this video press the like button if not press the dislike button also, if you have any feedback, just post it in the comment section below. And if you want help regarding the installation or any other thing, you can just post it in the comment section too. So yeah, also please subscribe, which is most important thing. If you want like more videos on the Redmi Note 5 Pro or other devices, which I make videos on. So bye bye. And yeah, guys, please take care and be safe and be at your home. Bye bye.